We live in a time of profound transformations in various areas, be it economy, governance, international relations, or more general speaking, political concepts. We try to think 50 years ahead. What are the most important objectives to be achieved by 2063 among young people in regard to a new narrative for migration? 50 years from now, I would love to see that in the world, we are in a place where national identities are no longer tied to ethnic, religious, or linguistic identities. Where people can belong um, to anywhere, regardless of where they're from. It would, it would definitely be where Africans um, are awarded more opportunities to actually travel abroad um, rather than always having other countries, Europeans especially, like there are a lot of them in South Africa, you know, on voluntary things and they get to learn a lot and get exposed to all these things and that opens their perspective and South Africans and Africans in general um, need to get those opportunities to open their perspective and challenge their chain of thoughts as well. Well, the biggest objective, of course, is to find a positive mi um, narrative on migration. So, at the end of the day, if people just, um, if the people already know what the positive impacts are, and they start to have a more positive view on it, it automatically also increases better chances of integration and also of welcoming migrants and not just cutting them off as I don't know as second-class citizens just because they do not originate from your country. So, the best objective that we can actually already that we can achieve is to change the mindset of people and to, for them to see what it can actually bring to their society. I would like to see migrants being able to contribute to the countries where they are living now. I would like to see people getting involved in uh, important, um, in important jobs and other um, positions where like, they can help other migrants and people that receive them in their host countries. Um, I believe that we should think migration not just from a national perspective. I think it's important to understand it as a global phenomenon and also as Austria, for example, as a rich country, or Europe as such, should get away from this fortress politics where we just pick out uh, the experts, the technocrats, the medics, medical students from, from other countries. They're highly educated and send them then a little bit of developing money to be good again. So, but to understand that we should maybe take these who don't have the opportunity to get an education. In 50 years time, I can't say what, what society will look like, but I know that it'll be exciting and it'll be enriched because of the amount of migration and globalization and communication that happens at the moment. I think that we should uh, have an initiative that to, to put in support immigration um, all over the world, um, especially uh, immigrant workers that live in the GCC countries, where the countries and immigrant workers live and have a cost uh, labor that they should have better living conditions over in, in these countries. And you, what are your ideas for shaping a balanced narrative on migration?